Well, we're down in the basement, and it was a sports bar last time I was down here, but it seems we had another reincarnation. With me is Ron Berry from 3 men. Behind us, we've got some musicians. Uh, Ron, you're kind of organising this uh, sort of change of direction of all the uh, local musicians and media being invited along tonight. So, what's happening here? Well, we've done some promotions with Mitch um, on 3 FM, and what what we were talking about was a lack of live music venues really in Douglas you know something that would be a sort of a Ronnie Scott's kind of a vibe and, and the sports bar down here does very well with Mitch for corporate nights and I said to him okay well 3FM are really interested in live music as well as what we do on the radio of course and let's support it so we said let's have a night where we invite all the local musicians on the island as many as we can get Steve Parry's worked really hard in pulling them all together and let's say right here here's the venue Three nights a week, let's have a look, open mic nights, whatever you want to do, and see how it works. It's been a notoriously difficult market. I mean, over the years of the other places that have tried this, the live music sometimes struggles, doesn't it? I mean, what's the answer? It does struggle, and I think it's down to the size of venues. Now, this venue is licensed to 250. So it's the sort of venue, as you can see, that you can curtain off. So if you only had like 50 people in here, it would still have that intimate atmosphere. Or if it was open to 250, you'd still be able to see what's going on and enjoy a night. So it's versatility uh, of, a, of a venue, really. And you hope that musos turn up and they go have jamming sessions, or will they be booking different people in here? A bit of both, really. It's sort of jamming sessions and then booking. and It's sort of a, an open mic. You know, we have some fantastic local talent on the island, really, really good. And there are a number of places where they have a little outlet for that. But this is, we want this to be sort of a, a bit of a thing with 3FM, where we will promote what we can down here um, in, a live, in a live environment. Now, another part of this is what sort of music are they going to get? Is it hit and miss? I mean, it could be punk, jazz, rock and roll. What, what, is there any defined you look for? It's predominantly going to be sort of a jazz and blues and acoustic kind of a venue. I mean, that's the other thing as well, where you can have something to eat here. Uh, so you can, have a, you can have a night where you can eat and listen to a bit of music. And we've, we've come across some really, really good blues musicians, jazz singers, and, you know, based on the Isle of Man. And then once every six weeks or so, we'll bring somebody in. A bit, a bit like a tribute to John O'Gallo, because John O was brilliant at doing that sort of thing. Okay, which nights of the week is this going to happen on? Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. And, well, TT week's coming up. Are you going to do that as well? Yeah, I think we've probably, Mitch has already got TT week right, planned. Right, okay, so <laughs> hold off until that then. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So great, who are these guys? Oh, this is um, Paul Tonks and his band. Brilliant. This